At first glance, Venus seems familiar. It's nearly identical in size to our home planet, with a diameter of about 12,104 kilometers, or 7,521 miles, just slightly smaller than Earth's 12,756 kilometers, or 7,926 miles. Both are terrestrial planets, composed primarily of rock and metal, with a solid surface beneath their atmospheres. Their gravity is close too, on Venus, gravity is about 90% of Earth's, but there is a different factor that makes Venus a crushing place that we'll get back to in a moment. With so many similarities, I suppose you could see why Venus earned the twin label, but the resemblance stops there. Where Earth nurtures life, Venus would destroy it. Its thick atmosphere, made up of more than 96% carbon dioxide, traps heat in a runaway greenhouse effect, pushing surface temperatures to a blistering 464 degrees Celsius, or 867 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt lead. Winds tear through its cloud tops at hurricane speeds. Air pressure at the surface is about 92 times greater than Earth's, equivalent to being 900 meters, or 3,000 feet deep in the ocean. This would be absolutely crushing, and it would eliminate the similar gravity to Earth. Landing on Venus is incredibly difficult, with spacecraft melting or being crushed within hours due to the immense heat and pressure. And that beautiful yellow glow? It comes from toxic clouds with sulfuric acid rain falling from the sky that ends up evaporating before reaching the ground, thanks to the incredible heat here. So why call it a twin? The similarities in structure once led astronomers to wonder if Venus had oceans, maybe even life. Some believe Venus was Earth-like millions of years ago, possibly even harboring water on its surface until extreme volcanism and the runaway greenhouse effect took hold, turning Venus into the inferno we see today. Maybe there was a time when Earth and Venus were twins, but at this stage, they appear more as siblings. What do you think? Thank you for joining me today. I'm glad to have you here. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to show your support with a like by sharing your thoughts in the comments below or by sharing it with other curious minds. I would also like to thank this amazing community for your support over the years. I truly appreciate you all. If you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next one. Thanks again. Until next time, take care and be well.